what you're doing? You've been watching Japanese TV. There's this one game. Hey, hey, hey stop caring. Hey, I'm gonna try this. What is it? Oh, come on, be adventurous. Try it, try it, try it. Huh. That's amazing. What is it? Oh, I got it off this guy in the street. It's called, like, Boo Boo Goo Goo Boo Goo. Boo Goo? Boo Goo? Mm hmm. Like poison blowfish? Mm. If you don't prepare it correctly, you lose it and die. I was gonna comment if the television was eating away. Ah, oh, crap. あ、クラップ。ああ、ああ。ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
コーナーからは世界タイトルチャンピオン6回防衛中ユー・ティエーソーさん If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the cheer team. Available only in Japan, this mystifying cheerleading sim is, well, mystifying. We're not going to waste time discussing how odd this game is or how you can't get it in the States unless you know the right peeps. Let's just get right to the action. Japan is a beautiful city, beautiful scenery, beautiful people. But it has more self esteem issues than Kobayashi has hot dog eating championships. That one's for the Japanese fans in the audience. All 300 million of you. It's up to you, with the help of this cursed and dunceless cheer squad, to help those in confidence crisis. If a secretary needs help impressing her sexy boss, if a young boy needs dodgeball tips, if a horse needs that extra incentive, the cheer team is here. With your help, of course. Just tap the circles to the funky beats and help those in need. Like the chef who just wants to run a clean restaurant. The teacher who just wants to be one of the girls. Kinda. Or the pottery lover who just wants to be Patrick Swayze. And of course, slave abuse. Um, let's move on. At least we think that's what's going on. We don't speak Japanese. Heck, <laughs> we barely speak English. But you don't need language to enjoy Osu Tatake o Wenden. All you need is a DS, a trip to Japan, and your bestest cheer. Take it, fellas. After years of foul mouth abuse, Raddy has decided to find inner peace while in Japan, foregoing the noisy confusion of Tokyo for the quiet serenity of Toyama. Ayu! Sa! Hoi! Konnichiwa! Bitches! <laughs> 次回はミシガンのスーパーハッピーお化けがなんとアダムの口から登場<笑>アダムと学ぶ本格和食。I found this great new game in Japan. I can't speak Japanese, but I call it the Magic Roundabout. All right, look at this. These are scores for these types of foods. And if I can eat enough of them and hit the right score in the allotted time, I'm a winner. Of course, we're all winners in life, but I want to see what I get. Here we go. Ooh! <laughs> あの人今プラスチックの魚食べたよ321ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ Wow, this must be some crazy survival horror adventure game like Fatal Frame. And that's where you're wrong. While it's true that in Michigan for the PS2, you play as a cameraman covering the gruesome deaths of a city under attack by mysterious forces. The bottom line here is that you're a cameraman. And cameramen do this. Lots of this. Through the eye of the Zaka TV camera lenses, you can choose how you want to tell the story. There's nothing that builds suspense like talking. Focusing on scary things also builds suspense like dead bodies and ghosts. Look, it's my social life floating by. You'll also find other scary things in Michigan like dolls. Ah! A bowl of fruit. Ooh! Kit magazines. Ah! You can score immoral points by kicking people, watching the reporter die, or just goofing off by filling file cabinets or a box. 
No, a wooden box. Speaking of which, you can live out your Van Nuys dreams by photographing random porn left behind just by lowering your standards. Lower. Oh, yeah. You're also going after one of the greatest enemies ever created. Crotch monsters. I'm sure it's something different in Japan, like terrible flowers. As a cameraman, it's your job to watch over your young and beautiful reporter. Don't worry about her, though. If she gets bumped off, a younger reporter will just take her place. The game is more about how you view the story around you rather than you interacting with it. Sometimes you want to look away, but under the unblinking eye of the camera, you control how the story unfolds. Michigan's the great idea that just ran out of film before the final cut. That's why we give this little import a two out of five. Roam free, crotch monsters. Roam free your manifestations of adolescent male anxiety. Morgan Webb? Holy shnikes, you are Morgan Webb from X-Play.次回は川島龍太教授のスーパーハッピー脳内出血脳の鍛える大人のBSペンタイ胸筋トレーニングシャドウグエングエビもびっくり Japan with your jointing children and rollicking people. How your wordsmiths bring luxury on a fastidious herbalization. One flatulent ink dangler scribes happiness for one cup of spoon. Please feel the world of the sound that wind plays. Corruption. A lucid gatekeeper of the algid warns. A frozen save is not possible. I'm frozen, frozen with consternation. A group of us is horribles ponder. Who is the real thing? Find it early and send it. There are many companies. Find me, find me from someone. And the solitary cousin cannot domineer his glee when he implores. Laugh when pleasant, enjoyable. Oh, Martha! An ethnically bankrupt artist attempts to reinvigorate with black regain. Shocking! An amatory stenographer finds delight when he formulates the f***ing body. F you, Jack. I'm all tight. Perturbation! This bellicose scribe imbibes a chord when he vociferates. The takedown of weapon allows insight into the interesting technique. Bang! How? Bang! I salute you, you purveyors of discomforting linguistics. The Japanese. The Japanese. Do we have any math fans in the house? I said, do we have any math fans in the house? That's more like it. Well, if you're a math elite and you read and speak fluent Japanese, we've got the game for you.
Brain Teasers for the Nintendo DS is a collection of mini-games that work out various areas of your gray matter. After only two hours of playing this game, my medulla oblongata could bench 350 pounds. Brain Teasers has a wide variety of mind-twisting challenges in store for you. Here's a little bit of math mixed in with some math. Some memory-building exercises that are sure to make your cerebellum feel the burn. And like every good gym, it's even got a disembodied head to motivate you. Are you making fun of my spandex biker shorts? The problems are actually quite engaging thanks to the DS touchscreen. Of course, that's when it actually recognized the numbers we were writing. Seven times six doesn't equal a kangaroo. Why would I write that? And the visuals here are simply stunning. And by simply stunning, I mean that the interface is the blandest thing you'll find outside of Ashley Simpson's persona. But what do you expect? It's math. So if you have the weak, puny neocortex of a girly man, you'll really want to pick this one up. We give brain teasers three minus one times six divided by four out of five. Here we are in Shinjuku. We're outside of the most popular game store here. We're going to try to find out why nobody pulled out the Xbox. And we're going to find out if the Xbox 360 is going to suffer the same fate. Do you know why you didn't get a Microsoft's 10-pound console? The Xbox ate my dog. It was a little dog, a wiener dog. So why do you think the uh, Xbox failed in Japan? It failed because it did not study hard enough. So what, what does Microsoft have to do to make the Xbox 360 a hit in Japan? If the Xbox were actually the PlayStation, I think it would do well here. What do you think Microsoft can do to make the 360 a hit in Japan? If, for example, Microsoft were to include free weed with the console, then perhaps it may have a chance. What can Microsoft do to make the Xbox 360 a success? I was told that if you play the Xbox too much, you'll turn into the guy on my buddy's shirt. So are you going to buy an Xbox 360? Well, I think if I were to find an Xbox 360 in the dishwater, that would be nice. Yes, very nice. Are you going to buy an Xbox 360? Hi. No. So, uh, do you plan to buy an Xbox 360? No. Uh, yes and no. That's, that's, that's not a good enough answer. <laughs> Xbox 360? All right, well, uh, sorry. What are you looking at, fool? Yeah, I'm going to have some tea. No, that... No more arigato. Hey, they docking moss, bitches. Like my vomit, I, I think I'll have some more. Jikai wa Super Happy Kontu Guntai, Chikyu Bowei Gun, Dai Nidan, Simple Nisen, Hatsu Ikkan, Utkoshi Hitobito, Xbox O Ken O, O O Christmas. There was one thing War of the World was missing. And no, I don't mean a real ending. I'm talking about giant ants. Lots of them. 
It's an entomologist's worst nightmare in Earth Defense Force 2. London is in trouble, and who better to save her than the Japanese? While London is torn to the ground in this mindless shooter, Earth Defense Force 2 reminds us that monster fighting delineates along gender lines. Armed with a jetpack and the will to dominate, her heroine blasts apart her six-legged adversaries with a pretty purple death ray. And she knows how to dress for monster eradication success. Notice the thigh-high go-go boots, purple miniskirt, and stylish matching helmet. Our Power Ranger friend, on the other hand, is comfortable enough with his sexuality to wear a silver jumpsuit in public, but he prefers a more conventional means to smite thine enemy. Just don't expect him to reload any time this century. Or have any respect for private property. Dude, are you even aiming at the giant insect? Playing Orkin Man is just the beginning. Soon you'll be fighting for your life against lavender saucers of death. Oh look, they match my outfit. Okay, I know the city is being destroyed around you, but I think this guy's overreacting. Uh, yeah. We've never seen the McCarthy-era giant Berman thing brought to life quite so viscerally. Earth Defense Force 2 is epic, especially considering it's a budget title. Unfortunately, it loses a lot when the frame rate slows to a crawl. The presentation and concept are intriguing, and the budget price is nice, but it gets repetitive and so sticky in places it's basically unplayable. We give Earth Defense Force 2 three exploding bugs out of five. Chill out, dude.